What's up guys, Jerome here from the Bonsai Supply and welcome to today's video. So in this video, I'm going to be transforming a Aenea Buxifolia from a pre-bonsai into something really cool. And at the end of the video, um, we're gonna, I'm going to explain to you how you can actually acquire this tree. So you have to make sure that you stick around until the very end of this video. Um, this tree is native to Puerto Rico and this is an exceptional bonsai material. Number one, it has tiny, tiny leaves. Number two, it grows little yellow flowers. And number three, it has little red berries. It is a tropical tree and it grows like a weed, as you can tell. So this tree is a hot, hot mess. So let's take a look at this tree. Um, this is one of those trees that, yes, you can go ahead and defoliate it if you want to, but this tree is so vigorous. There's not really a need to right now to go ahead and defoliate it. So we're just going to trim this tree into something really cool, reposition it. And I have been looking at this tree a little bit, and I think this tree will be a great, great candidate for a cloud style. So we're going to have different clouds on different heights and on different sides of the tree. And the tree actually has great movement from the very bottom all the way to the top. Um, one thing that's really cool on Aeneas is that you have these very long branches and they actually take a, quite a long time to thicken up. But the cool thing is, since they are so long and leggy, you can put, you can uh, wire them and put some crazy, crazy movement into these branches. So that's what I always liked about Aeneas. So now when we go ahead and uh, transfer, transform this tree into a cloud style, we have to keep a few things in mind the biggest cloud is going to be on top and then i have another cloud over here and then down here this is very congested so we have to clean this up a little bit and hopefully make a few clouds down here uh, when you make a cloud style you always want to clean up the underside of the pad and keep the top of the pad slightly rounded almost like an umbrella so that's what i'm going to do and i'm going to i'm going to get right to it So I wanted to take you in a little closer to show you exactly how I go about turning this into a cloud style. So all the branches that hang below, I just like to clean them up as such. And I always start with the bottom. And then on the top, I just give it a nice little haircut and I'm going to get it very tight. So this tree is finished for right now. Um, so it has one branch here, one branch here, and then of course the top here. So you can call this like a pom pom, or I like to call this the cloud style, but the idea is to get a couple more. So maybe let another branch grow out here and grow another pom pom or a cloud style, and maybe another one in the back. I think this tree would be extremely cool if you, um, whoever gets this tree, um, would plant this in a really, really shallow tree uh, pot, like an oval one and perhaps like something like this, this big and have this tree like planted off to one side. And then if you get more of these clouds in here and get it really, really compact, this could look extremely cool. All right, so now let me explain to you guys how you can actually acquire this very tree. So for the next three days on our auction page, you can bid on this tree and if you win the bid, we'll ship this very tree directly to your home. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys next time.